Yeah, so um, I go to uh, numerous 12-step programs which are um, for various, uh, various addictive type behaviors or, or, and things. And um, the 12 steps, you see, um, how I got interested in the 12 steps and of course in miracles and the teachers of enlightenment was that um, I was given a DVD after my rock bottom having kidney failure, I was given a DVD of a man named Dr. David R. Hawkins. And after having that spirit, what I call a kundalini uh, experience with the tingling up the spine, <coughs> I then realized that that would be one of my spiritual teachers. And Dr. Hawkins was a, a Dr. Dr. David R. Hawkins, he was um, uh, actually he, 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 he was in Alcoholics Anonymous and his sponsor was Bill Wilson. Anyone who's familiar with the 12 Steps will know that uh, Bill Wilson was the founder of the whole 12 step movement and uh, Hawkins was there and then he progressed on and had more advanced spiritual experiences, uh, studied the Course in Miracles where um, he was the thing, uh, he, he had 23 illnesses, many, some of them life threatening and just by doing the Course in Miracles all 23 of them left and he, he ran a spiritual group uh, in the States for people with grave illnesses and there people recovered from things like cancer, AIDS, myostivus gravis, very deadly uh, grave illnesses. All of this, and at the time I had uh, kidney failure, gout, asthma, I was really suffering with physical, um, also addictive stuff, which I went to the 12 steps, but I really wanted my kidney failure gone, I wanted my gout gone, I wanted the asthma gone, and there wasn't, for me, um, as he described, that uh, the 12 steps hasn't got the power, um, the necessary truth within it to uh, take out physical illnesses, not really. Uh, and uh, so you need something, a teaching of a higher vibration, closer to the absolute truth. Because uh, the 12 steps, <clears throat> I use this languaging, called it, it's heavily dualistic. So there's a me praying to a God. So that, that's very, very dualistic languaging. <clears throat> There's little me, ego, separate ego, praying to, to God out there. And you need teachings at a higher level of truth to actually release some of these um, very, very heavy, um, very heavy um, belief systems and ingrained suppressed feelings. Otherwise you can't, because, you know, whatever you believe, you're subject to. So if you believe it's like... <clears throat> Like I went to 12 steps, for, for one of them was for food addiction. So in 12 step culture, everyone believes that you can let go of sugar addiction, because that, that, that's a common thing within the culture. But you don't hear in a, a 12 step food meeting, I've got cancer and it's gone now. So that wouldn't, be, that wouldn't really be shared or it'd be frowned upon as that, no, God, God, can, God can stop you eating donuts, but God can't take cancer away from you. That's, that's, uh, that's beyond God's power. So you, when you get to the Course in Miracles, then you, you actually have, you have the thing of the truth that there's nothing God cannot do. Or, even beyond dualistic, anyway, we'll, we'll get into that. So, but I was very interested in letting go of all the physical illnesses. And um, Lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles states very, very clearly and you wouldn't get this in the vast majority of spiritual literature out there. It states things like, God did not create cancer, so it is not real. And uh, God did not create war, so it is not real. Uh, later on in the Course of Miracles, uh, earlier on in the Course of Miracles, it says things like, all my thoughts are meaningless. You wouldn't ha have that, usually, that's a very high vibration of teaching. Every single thought in my head is meaningless. There's no special thought in there, uh, and that, that, is very, uh, that is a very high vibration. All the thoughts, no matter how good or how bad they are, they're, they're meaningless. You can let them go. The answer does not reside there. Um, if you believe something like, I've got cancer, or I've got kidney failure, or, I've got, or even if like, I have bad relationships or whatever, and you believe that, then there is no, you know, then that's going to be the case. 
you know you're going to be um, a victim of the of that belief system it will manifest so as you let go now later on it takes you to the highest level of truth so that can relieve and all my three illnesses kidney failure gout asthma all left after doing there's you can either do God did not create kidney failure so he's not real or you could do I cancel my belief in kidney failure I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind um, I cancel my belief is like you know I know lot I refute I, I rescind my be belief in such a in such a notion that such an idea could cut stem out of the infinite love of God the cancer war separation uh, the, the the basis of the Course in Miracles uh, <clears throat> well, my take on the basis of Course in Miracles is that um, uh, it, it's it's a collective a collective uh, illusion that we're living in of fear and separation, which aren't actually true, aren't actually the truth in absolute truth. No such thing as fear and separation. So we use the language, languaging, for example, that this world is an illusion, which might, can be very tough to get as a, as a new person. But it's from, if you, um, from the perspective, if you have these spiritual experiences, you realize that the whole world is constructed out of the perceptions of the ego. And, and as, the ego, as there is identification with thoughts and body, then suddenly that becomes the reality of what one is. And then one projects that one is in a world of separation in relationship to other separated beings. And that is the experience of what we call... So you're cast into what I'd call the illusion that I'm separate, stuck in a body, in a world of separation. And of course, the whole, for me, the whole basis is if you're in separation, there will be fear. You could call it separation, anxiety. If you're an addict, then that's extreme separation anxiety because you're often very strongly identified with the body and emotions and thoughts and then you're, you're projecting a, a world of extreme disconnection and fear and separation. So as you start to let go of those identifications with, with thoughts and feelings and just allow them to be released, then, um, then a, a deeper peace uh, can be experienced, which is actually experienced through the release of, of thought. So, you know, cancelling. One of the favourite ones that I do in this group is the God did not create it, so it's not real. Or I cancel my belief in whatever. Uh, I'm an infinite being, subject only to what I hold in mind. Um, and um, I've experienced miracles, and many people here have experienced miracles in um, releasing stuff. Um, also, the just basically with the course of miracles, how it ties into the twelve steps is that. The 12 steps for me is a, like, I call it like O-level introduction, an introduction to spirituality. And The Course in Miracles is like, um, I don't know, your A-levels. So often if you've done your 12 steps, you might be able to be ready to take um, The Course in Miracles, which is more advanced. You see, you're actually, f what's The Course in Miracles? It's, it's really about enlightenment. It's really about taking up all the fundamental blocks that the ego is real to experience something beyond the ego as your truth. You could either identify yourself, you know, like for, when I was very identified with the limited self, or you could call it the person, the small self, the ego self, the mind body, it's called many different things. Then there's this huge identification with thoughts and body and feelings in a, in a limited area as being the, that what I, what I am, but as you release all of these things, you'll start to get spiritual experiences that 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 is not the truth of of what I am. So that's an introduction.